So now as we continue our look at the effects of human actions, specifically on, of course, our planet Earth, we're going to be now looking at a different effect of human actions uh, in this next flowchart. So this is going to be part two of the three flowcharts on the effects of human actions. This flowchart will be devoted to toxins in the environment as a result of, of course, human actions. So human actions are going to uh, consequentially release many toxins via synthesis when we make synthetic that's why they're called synthetic because they're synthesized synthetic compounds when we as humans make synthetic compounds through synthesis of those compounds we are going to release many toxins into the environment release many let me finish that toxins by synthesis of synthetic compounds so what's going to happen is, though that they're being released to the environment, okay, who cares what's going to happen? Uh, this is actually going to be acquired by some organisms, and this is not good. Organisms acquire toxins through uh, usually other nutrients that uh, end up absorbing those toxins through other nutrients uh, or through water that ends up taking in those toxins as well. So now this is bad. These are environmental toxins that happen as a result of us synthesizing things. We get a consequence known as biological magnification. Biological magnification. This is very, very, very bad consequence of our human actions. So let's see what this means. Biological magnification is when we have accumulated toxins so accumulated toxins become more concentrated, become more concentrated, more prevalent even, in successive trophic levels. In successive trophic levels. So a thing to sort of zoom out right now and think of is the fact that trophic levels are present in ecological systems, right? And so as trophic levels, uh, we know that trophic levels interact with each other very, very greatly. And if you have this accumulation of toxins in successive trophic levels, basically if you keep on moving up and higher and higher and higher in these trophic levels, you get more and more and more toxins. This is called biological magnification for that reason. We magnify the toxins as we move up in these trophic levels. A great example of this, and an actually rather unfortunate example of this, is the use of DDT, which are chlorinated hydrocarbons. So these chlorinated hydrocarbons serve one purpose for us that is, you know, pretty good, but another purpose, another consequence, a biological magnification consequence that becomes really bad. So DDT is just a bunch of chlorinated hydrocarbons. They are technically supposed to be used for killing mosquitoes, and this is okay. This is good. We, mosquitoes are pests. They, you know, transmit malaria, and it's, it's not a good thing for these mosquitoes, so we can get rid of them utilizing DDT. But DDT also, through some sort of secondary exposure, oftentimes disrupts endocrine systems of animals. So endocrine system of animals animals. It can very easily disrupt our endocrine systems. These are our endocrine system, which we'll learn in bio 2, bio 116 specifically, is all about hormonal uh, transportation, hormonal system that's based off of endocrine glands. And if we disrupt this, it's a very big process that's going to result, a very big consequential process that Rachel Carson who's an author, actually highlighted in her book called Silent springs. It's a very important book that talks about the consequence of DDT, how every single spring what was happening was there was less and less bird calling, less and less bird songs, that animal behavior that we've discussed before. Why was that happening? Because within each trophic level, all the way at the smallest of plants, let's say, 
at the insect level because of this DDT over usage, we had this toxin accumulation, biological magnification happen, and eventually it killed off birds, which are at a pretty high trophic level because those birds eat insects, and those insects are exposed to DDT, and thus we have this accumulation in successive trophic levels. Now, one last biological magnification to understand is the idea of pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals also un, uh, undergo this uh, idea of biological magnification, specifically when antibiotics are involved. And this is in result to uh, antibiotics. Um, specifically, antibiotics that are released into water. Now, how would this happen? You, we have to ask ourselves, released into water, well, how does that possibly happen? Well, what happens is we as humans consume antibiotics and we release antibiotics. And if we have a sewage system, because when we release them, it's released through our feces, through our waste, if the sewage system that is present doesn't break down, doesn't, so the sewage system doesn't break down, and, it, and this is exactly what happens, it doesn't break down some of our antibiotic release waste components, let's say, animals are exposed to it because this is eventually going to go back into the environment. Anything that's not broken down will be going back into the environment. We hope that everything gets broken down, but sometimes these antibiotics have certain portions that aren't broken down. For example, sometimes within this antibiotic pharmaceutical regimen, there are high levels of estrogen that end up within our sewage systems. And this level, these high levels of estrogen will end up being very, very uh, problematic to fish because fish are very, very sensitive to this hormone. That is a result of our antibiotic usage. Are very sensitive, and this can literally can change uh, the uh, sex ratio of fish, and it has been shown to do this, more males than females or more females than males, whatever the estrogen causes, and it can also directly affect, and it does affect, differentiation, which is a critical process, developmental process of all living organisms. So differentiation, I can't really fit it over there, but this is affects differentiation. So overall, we can see the large-scale impact that toxins in our environment have. And it's all due to our synthesis of synthetic compounds like DDT, like antibiotics, of course, that result in a large-scale biological magnification that affects many trophic levels.